Sure, Celine has the voice of an angel, but will she make you laugh? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funny Celine Dion moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the Canadian superstar's quirkier moments and ones that best highlight Celine's lighter side. Number 10. Living for Gaga Can a pop star receive a greater endorsement than a true legend dancing the night away at one of their gigs? A staple of the Las Vegas scene herself, Celine Dion took a day off to attend Lady Gaga's Enigma show at the Park Theatre in 2018, and she could not help but share the experience through Instagram. Unleashing one epic dance move after another, Celine seemed to relish every single moment of Gaga's show. While the internet loved every second of Dion's viral video, the falling into you singer may be a seasoned professional, but everyone needs to occasionally cut loose. And then the next night when I sang The Edge of Glory, I was doing all <laughs> the moves that Celine was doing because she, like, she outperformed me while I was s singing. Number 9. The Jonathan Ross Show Interview Interviews present an opportunity to glimpse behind the curtain and see a celebrity's real side. If this Jonathan Ross segment is anything to go by, Celine Dion is an absolute delight. So it's not just it's tomatoes. It's just how do you see it? There's also a plum, a kumquat, maybe a banana. Isn't that amazing? Melons. Hot bananas, hot bananas. Squash bananas, squash bananas. <laughs> Where to even begin? Incredibly charming and witty, the accomplished performer effortlessly trades quips with the host, while also coming across as totally genuine. Some of the highlights include a trip down memory lane to Eurovision 1988, Celine's opinion on My Heart Will Go On, specifically that the singer initially rejected the song and has grown tired of performing it live, and a loving tangent regarding Dion's family. We have twins, they're just turned three years old. So they're babies, but the 12, 13 year old, do you have to make sure he doesn't run off and try and play the slots, try and play poker, do you have to keep an eye on him? No, I don't. Um, it's my fourth one that I have to keep an eye on, really? my husband. Oh. <laughs> also, Celine built a home water park. Just putting that out there. That's why not? Some people yeah, why do not? drugs and go out every weekend. I build a water park. Wow, okay. <laughs> Number eight, Ash's music video. That was amazing. That was the most beautiful performance I've ever seen in my life. Thank you so much. Thank no, you. No, thank you. Celine Dion producing a song for a motion picture soundtrack is always cause for celebration, especially when that movie happens to be an R-rated superhero flick with a wicked sense of humor. Matching explosive action scenes with power ballads, Deadpool tends to employ its soundtrack as a punchline, and this running gag took on a life of its own when Celine agreed to sing the lead single for the sequel's soundtrack. We need to do it again! Okay. Why? Well, it's too good. Yeah, this is... This is Deadpool 2, not Titanic. Parodying melodramatic love ballads typically associated with the singer, the music video primarily consists of the Merc with a mouth dancing fabulously, while Celine earnestly belts out the powerful tune. All right, you're at like an 11. We need to get you down to a five, five and a half tops. Just phone it in. Listen, this thing only goes to 11. So beat it, Spider-Man. Number seven, her dog voice. Everyone knows the highly successful songstress has an amazingly wide range, but the celebrity's vocal talents transcend just music. For example, did you know that Celine speaks fluent canine? During an engaging interview with Oprah, the conversation eventually steers towards her adorable pet dog. It's, it's a she. It's a she? It's a she, and her name is Charlie. Charlie. They're such a good puppy. Uh. As most animal lovers presumably know, pet owners often alter their voices into a sort of baby talk while interacting with their fur babies. Apparently, Celine is no exception. When you have a puppy, you change your voice. Yes, you so good. Yeah. <laughs> Only Celine Dion can make dog talk seem funny, heartwarming, and natural. That's a talent in and of itself. And then you think I'm gonna talk like that. <laughs> what is right this thing? I know. Number six, who let Celine out? Some clips speak for themselves. Perfect for those unable to attend in person, Celine's shows are often periodically recorded and released to the public, with behind the scenes footage often added to sweeten the pot. Obviously, the music is the main attraction. However, occasionally a gem like this lands on one of the documentaries. Who we'll let the dogs out? <laughs> Backstage at one of the singer's shows, Celine bursts into a spontaneous cover of Who Let the Dogs Out, 
and the moment is even more hilarious than it sounds. Who lets Celine out? Who knows? But they have our thanks. Who lets Celine out? <laughs> <laughs> Who lets Celine out? <laughs> Number five, her enthusiasm about the Met Gala. <laughs> Over the years, quite a number of celebrities have referred to the Met Gala as a stressful event, one that feels more like work than pleasure. This perspective is completely valid and understandable, but Celine does not appear to share this viewpoint. Attending for the first time in 2017, an invitation that was long overdue, the bubbly singer embraced the occasion with a childlike enthusiasm that is typical of Celine's public appearances. My first impression was that I really insisted there was a pocket in the dress because I didn't know if I had to bring my car to, are uh, they going to let me in? And then <laughs> Draped in a stunning dress and a trendy hairstyle, Dion owned the Met Gala by simply being herself. That's a deep pocket. Oh, you don't know how <laughs> deep it is to be loved by you. Honestly, Dion is the one to watch at all Met Galas, and not just because of her ensembles. She's hysterical. Number four, remixing My Heart Will Go On with Steve Aoki. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is reality. Steve Aoki remixed My Heart Will Go On. Want to know the most astonishing part? This version was not meant as a joke, and the song never fails to get the crowd bouncing during one of the DJ's concerts. Aoki met Celine Dion backstage at Caesars Palace, where the singer endorsed the remix and broke into an impromptu electro rendition of Titanic's theme song. Every night in my dreams, 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 I see you, 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 you. Unsurprisingly, the results are kind of magical. There should be a limit to how talented and charming someone is allowed to be. Every night <laughs> in your go, 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 go. Oh, you know, that would have been cool. Number three, covering rap songs. Okay, time to call it. There is nothing Celine cannot do. A comedian at heart, Ellen DeGeneres relishes the opportunity to push celebrities out of their comfort zones. But this segment merely serves as a reminder that Dion's voice is untouchable. Come on. You want a hot body? You want a Bugatti too? You want a Maserati? So you better work. You want to let Tasked with covering a medley of popular rap songs, Celine effortlessly adapts LMFAO's shots and Missy Elliott's Work It into the classical style affiliated with the singer. Is it worth it? Ooh, let me work it, baby. Watching Celine Dion cover Nelly's Hot in Here will never get old, and that is a fact. We could watch this over and over again. It's getting on in here. So Number two, her carpool karaoke. Taking a stop in Las Vegas for his carpool karaoke segment, James Corden met his match in Celine Dion. Oh, this is a lovely drive. I drove all night <laughs> to get to you. Starting with It's All Coming Back to Me Now, the Canadian singer brought the drama and even a surprise kiss for the late night host. But don't worry, this special wasn't just Celine's hits. James even challenged her to Selenify Baby Shark. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark do, 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 do. The only time Dion probably regretted taking part in the segment was when Corden decided to give away some of her apparently 10,000 pairs of shoes. Of course, there was only one right way to finish things off, with a reenactment of the iconic scene from Titanic at the Bellagio Fountains, complete with sweeping camera angles, a wig for Corden, and the heart of the ocean. My heart will go on and on. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> So I said to myself, I gotta, I gotta walk on it. I gotta kill it. Of course. You know? Of course you do. So I just did like I was pretty sure what I was doing. I was like, you yeah, I was looking there. And then at one point I was just like, what? Ah! <laughs> Dion, 
Não. Dio. What's for? Couture. Number one. Wheel of Musical Impressions. <laughs> Any excuse for Celine to sing is welcome, but no other moment serves as a better showcase for the singer's vocal ability and charming personality. In one of the more popular segments of his talk show, Wheel of Musical Impressions asks Jimmy Fallon and a celebrity guest to take turns covering well-known songs, while borrowing the vocals of a unique singer. As always, Celine proved to be more than up to the challenge. <laughs> Along with pulling off eerily accurate impressions of Cher, Rihanna, and Sia, Celine participated in some playful banter with the host. Not sure whether to laugh or applaud? In this case, we recommend doing both. agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.